Kai and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new game announcements from E3. Now to cover literally everything that was even hinted, spoken or suggested about would probably take me days and days of videos. So I'm literally going to cover the things that were announced that I found exciting and the things that I think you guys will personally find interesting. Now I've researched to my heart's content for the past two days and got every single video, screen shot logo of every game that I'm talking about that I could possibly find. Some of them might not have logos, some of them might only have screenshots and not trailers, so bear with me, I found out everything I could possibly find for you guys to take a look at so you guys can get excited about everything that I'm excited about from E3. So let's start off with Nintendo. <laughs> off with games that we can see on the Wii U. We've got Super Mario 3D World. For the first time ever, Nintendo has created a four-player Mario game set in a 3D world. The game developed by the same team that created Super Mario 3D Land for Nintendo 3DS and the Super Mario Galaxy games for Wii lets up to four players as Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach and Toad. Each character has his or her own unique characteristics and people can play cooperatively or competitively. The new cat transformation turns characters into adorable felines that can scratch enemies and even scamper up the flagpole at the end of the levels. The game is scheduled to launch this December. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze The first Wii U instalment in the franchise comes from Retro Studios. The side-scrolling platformer has beautiful HD graphics that show fine details such as Donkey Kong's fur. Dixie Kong joins the adventure which features the Kong swimming underwater and moving from the foreground to the background. This time, the camera changes perspective on certain levels to enhance the sense of motion and to deliver new experiences. The game is scheduled to launch this November. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker in HD the classic Nintendo GameCube game has been enhanced with beautiful HD 1080p graphics. In one change from the original, the Tingle Tuner has been replaced by the Tingle Bottle, which uses the Wii U gamepad controller to post comments about the game to Miiverse. Comments from players wash up on the shores of beaches in the game. Players also have the option to sail faster than they did in the original version. This game is scheduled to launch this October. Mario Kart 8 the newest instalment of the gold standard racing game introduces an anti-gravity feature that has carts racing up walls and clinging to inverted tracks. Elements from previous Mario Kart games have made their return, including gliders and motorbikes. The game will support online multiplayer and will have deep integration with Miiverse. This game is scheduled to launch in spring of 2014. The wonderful 101 this Platinum Games original launches September 15th. Players take on the role of Wonder Red, leader of a group of superheroes. Individually, they are overpowered by invaders from space, but by working together they can transform into a fist or blade and unleash massive attacks on their enemy. The polished over-the-top look and muscle evoke classic superhero comics and cartoons. Bayonetta 2 Developed by Platinum Games, the game's title character has had a makeover that gives her a new hairstyle and costume. Her climatic abilities are more powerful and the action is as intense as ever. This game is scheduled to launch in 2014. There's going to be a brand new title that's currently unnamed from Monolith Software. Monolith Soft, the creative force behind the Xenoblade Chronicles, is creating an open world for players to explore. Players can ride human-shaped robots at certain points in the game or use the robots to battle enemies in the sky. This game is scheduled to launch in 2014. We party you. Enjoy board games and mini games on the TV, play familiar tabletop games using the Wii U gamepad controller or transform your living room into a game show floor. No matter what kind of party you're throwing, we Party You offers something for everyone. This game is scheduled to launch this October. Super Smash Bros for Wii U. The highly anticipated new entry in Nintendo's popular fighting franchise will arrive for Wii U in 2014. And the Wii Fit U. Although this game was previously announced to launch in spring or summer this year, it is now scheduled to launch this December. 
Now let's take a look at the games for the 3DS. We've got Pokemon X and Y. The first games in the core Pokemon series to appear on Nintendo 3DS launch worldwide on October 12th. The games introduce an 18th Pokemon type, Fairy type Pokemon, and have an upgraded graphical look that is an artistic pinnacle for the franchise. A new feature called Pokemon Amy lets players create a deeper connection with their Pokemon. Trainers can pet them, feed them and play mini games with them, which makes their Pokemon more effective in battles. And Super Smash Bros for the 3DS. This handheld counterpart to the Wii U version will also arrive in 2014. There are also a couple of games that were available to play at E3 but weren't actually in the show. The ones up for the Wii U are Pikmin 3. This game is in a genre all of its own. Players take command of three explorers and a legion of adorable Pikmin in a fight for survival. By employing the unique abilities of these tiny Pikmin creatures, Players will solve puzzles, battle dangerous predators, and recover foods needed to save the explorer's depleted home planet. Super Luigi U Luigi takes centre stage in his first starring role in a platform adventure. Players can show off their skills as Luigi, complete with his trademark high jump and unique slide. As they experience more than 80 new courses set in the world of Super Mario Bros U, for people who already own a Super Mario Bros U, the new Luigi content launches as downloadable content in the Nintendo eShop on June 20th. A standalone retail version of the game that does not require the original launches August 25th. Mario and Sonic at the Soki Winter Olympics 2014 this game includes a variety of events from the Winter Games, including bobsleigh, skiing, figure skating pairs and snowboard slope style, which will make its Olympic Games debut in Sochi, Russia. Different events might use the Wii Remote Plus controller, Wii U gamepad controller or both. In addition to realistic events, the game also includes dream events set in the world of Sonic and Mario that let players perform moves not possible in real life. Launch details and timing will be announced at a later date. And for the 3DS, we have The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. This game takes place after the events of and in the same world as The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Link can now become a drawing to move along walls. This opens up ways to explore and puzzle elements that give Link access to locations he could not otherwise reach. The game is scheduled to launch this holiday season. Yoshi's New Island The third game in the series offers classic Yoshi abilities while introducing new ones, such as giant mega eggs that Yoshi can use to mow down obstacles. The game features different worlds in a variety of art styles, including oil, watercolour and pastels. The game is scheduled to launch this holiday season. And Mario and Luigi's Dream Team Mario and Luigi embark on an adventure of their dreams in a hilarious action RPG that combines action in both the real world and inside Luigi's dreams. The game launches on August 11th. From Square Enix, we have Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. A stunning, massively multiplayer online role-playing game that will enable players to create their own Final Fantasy adventure. Murdered Soul Suspect The mystery thriller Murdered Soul Suspect will haunt attendees as an entirely new game property where the main character travels through both modern day Salem, Massachusetts and a ghost world to solve his own murder. And Deix The Fall The new instalment of the award winning Deix series which will be on Android and iOS. From Ubisoft we have The Division a devastating pandemic sweeps through New York City and one by one basic services fail. In only days without food or water, society collapses into chaos. The Division, a classified unit of self-supported tactical agents, is activated. Leading seemingly ordinary lives among us, the Division agents are trained to operate independently of command as all else fails. Watchdogs Set in Chicago where a central network of computers connects everyone and everything, Watchdogs explores the impact of technology within our society. Using the city as your weapon, you will embark on a personal mission to inflict your own brand of justice. 
You play as Aidan Pierce, a brilliant hacker and a former thug whose criminal past led to a violent family tragedy. While seeking justice for those events, you'll monitor and hack those around you by manipulating the CTOS from the palm of your hand. You'll access omnipresent security cameras, download personal information to locate a target, control traffic lights and public transportation to stop the enemy and more. Trials Fusion Trials is an award-winning best-selling series of computer and video games in which the player is challenged to guide his bike and rider through a series of more difficult and challenging obstacles. Featuring realistic physics, leaderboards, multiplayer and in-game editor and more, the Trials games will challenge your competitive spirit and creativity to the limit. The Crew The Crew is a revolutionary action driving game developed exclusively for next-gen consoles. It takes you and your friends on a reckless ride inside a massive open-world recreation of United States. Splinter Cell Blacklist the United States has a military presence in two-thirds of the countries around the world. A group of 12 have had enough and initiate a terror ultimatum called the Blacklist, a deadly countdown of escalating terrorist attacks on US interests. South Park From the battlegrounds of the fourth grade playground, a young hero will rise, destined to be South Park's saviour. From the creators of South Park, Dre Parker and Matt Stone, comes an epic quest to become cool. Introducing South Park, the Stick of Truth. Just Dance 2014. Next generation of your favourite party game is back. Experience parties the way only Just Dance knows how. Rayman. Rayman, named Platformer of the Year and winner of multiple artistic and musical achievements, is coming to the Wii U with a brand new adventure. Michael Ansel, celebrated creator of Rayman Beyond Good and Evil and The Raving Rabbids, is bringing his innovative creativity to this new and exciting platform. Rayman Legends makes full use of the power of the Wii U. With the new Wii U controller, discover new ways to platform with its touch-based gameplay, gyroscope technology and even the ability to extend your playing experience when the TV is off. Additionally, the power of the machine has helped pave the way for new, more detailed graphics and lighting. And Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag begins in 1715 when pirates established a lawless republic in the Caribbean and ruled the land and seas. These outlaws paralysed navies, halted international trade and plundered vast fortunes. They threatened the power structures that ruled Europe, inspired the imaginations of millions and left a legacy that still endures. Now let's go into some detail about the PS4 and Xbox One. I'm going to show you some screenshots of what each console looks like as well as the controllers and list all of the games that are going to be available when they launch. So here is the PlayStation 4. The games currently announced for release on launch are Drive Club, Killzone Shadowfall, Infamous Second Son, Dying Light, Galaxy, Mad Max, Mercenary Kings, Don't Starve, Contrast, Hohokam, The Order 1886, Blacklight Retribution, Transistor, Warframe, Outlast, Skylanders Swap Force, Secret Ponchos, Daylight, Oddworld New and Tasty, Battlefield 4, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Deep Down, Thief, Cod Ghost, Destiny, The Witness and Knack. For the Xbox One we have Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Below, Cod Ghost, D4, Dead Rising 3, Dying Light, The Evil Within, Fantasia, FIFA 14, Forza Motorsport, Halo Xbox One Edition, just Dance 2014, Connect Sports Rivals, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Max Q of the Brotherhood, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, Project Spark, Quantum Break, Ride Son of Rome, Skylander Swap Force, Sunset Overdrive, Thief, Watch Dogs and Wolfenstein. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy our roundup of E3. If you weren't there, I hope this has given you some insight as to what you can look forward to in the upcoming year. If you have any suggestions or feedback or anything that you would like us to include next time, then leave a comment in the section below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.